the wave 3 does hit us very badly. The situation here in Kodat is considered to us. They do not have the money to even you know, get a bag of rice. Usually this place will be filled with people buying groceries in the morning. Our hospitals are maxed out. Throughout November, I got in contact with Sabahats from different parts of the state to find out how they're doing as COVID-19 cases hit them by the hundreds each day. And these are their stories. My grandmother can no longer jual barang-barang dapur, takan pasar. It's really hot because they're trying their best to earn a living. The people here in Kodat are mostly farmer. Yes, they can eat the things that they harvest. But what about other expenses like, you know, buying cooking oils or paying bills? They don't have any income. Some of them are jobless right now and some of them, they, they can work but they are working at risk. You can see their eyes, they are really in need. They do not have the money to even, you know, get a pack of rice. I'm a teacher working in Kinabatangan Sabah. The parents and the children over there, they are not really familiar with online learning. So the only thing that we can do is that we send homeworks to WhatsApp group. It is really challenging because imagine like one parents have three children. There were a lot of pictures coming in through the WhatsApp group and sometimes we lost track. We couldn't reach everyone. Sepona itself, we, we have Sepona as the mainland and then on top of that we have 49 islands, small little islands. The information is a bit lacking. Awareness is definitely at the very minimal level. But the collaboration between the local council, the hospitals, the kesehatan and us, right? We managed to spread the news and educate as many people in our community. We're doing our best to help each other, sending food to each other. I'm actually at one of the Bulan Sabit Mera centers. I actually have a fear of needles. If I can do it, you guys can do it too. We actually identify one big huge island that is Mabu Island. The condition of this whole exercise is we will give you a pack of food that consists of all the essential food but you need to bring us 30 kg of trash for one family. We successfully collected 15 tons of rubbish and distributed around 619 food packs. Everyone was happy that we are blessed to have a lot of donors, kind other donors from Sampona, from Sabah, from West Malaysia. So how can we help? Donate to Plus Habit Mera and you can help them to channel all these donations where it belongs now. We're very thankful for the donations. I'm very proud to be a Malaysian because during the dark times like this, we actually unite and help the community. It is a hard time for all of us and for that reason, we need to stand together. The rules are there to protect us. We are in this together to follow all the rules and restrictions so that we can fight this pandemic. Do this for the greater good. You don't know how many lives you could save by just being safe for now. We are confident. We can go through this together. We are resilient. We will excel in this. Here's a list of places that you can contribute to that will go to those in need in Sabah. We'll also leave more information in the comment section down below. Please help share this video with anyone you know and stay safe.